All right, welcome. So we're gonna take a look at the um, time domain plus FFT mode of the Monkey Jam. So you can already see on the screen, I have time domain uh, mode enabled and it's fairly self-explanatory. So all I'm doing is taking uh, whatever data I record from the microphone, you know, and plotting it. So very simple example of time domain. Now, the first thing, um, uh, you know, the first kind of modification of the mode is to enable a window. So um, in DSP theory, a window is just essentially an envelope you apply to your signal um, that controls certain uh, properties uh, in the frequency domain uh, when you take the transform. You know, and it controls spectral leakage and, you know, side lobes and whatnot. So let's take a look at a window. So I'm going to apply the jumper. Uh, so you can kind of see this is the window. So this is a Hanning window. And you see what windows do. La, they force the endpoints to zero. Um, not all windows do that, but most do. And it turns out that uh, through some analysis, no matter what you do when you take an FFT, there's always a window. Um, and if you apply no window, what that means is you get a rectangular window. And there are certain properties of a rectangular window that are nice. Um, for example, it has really good frequency resolution, but the side lobes, the spectral leakage is um, a little bit undesirable. So let's go and look at the FFT mode. So let me apply my jumper. All right, let me go, la, la. So that's kind of cool. So what we're doing here is in real time, taking an FFT, and I simply plot the magnitude of the FFT um, along the length of display. Now I took a 128 point FFT, which really means there are uh, 64 complex numbers, but of those, um, we really get 32, all right? And the reason is, is because we're mirrored, you know, around FS over two, because we, the, the FFT produces complex conjugate, conjugates. So but that's all right. So we got kind of a cool display here. So now I can do that same kind of uh, uh, whistle without the window. So let's take a look. Now we're gonna go with a rectangular window. And you notice my peak is definitely more peaky, except that, um, you know, I get more of this spectral leakage. So I'll turn it back on to the other mode. Yeah, let me go one back to rectangular. So there we go. Um, cool little demonstration of the monkey listen in the uh, FFT, you know, and time domain modes. You know, so there we go. Uh, tune in to check out the spectrogram mode. That's my favorite.